Okay, now that we've got Kodu installed, let's go ahead and do our first game. This is the main menu of Kodu. This is what you'll see the very first time you run Kodu. Now, you'll notice at the top here it says Resume. The reason it says Resume is because I've run Kodu before. Resume will let me jump straight back into whatever I had already loaded the last time I was running Kodu. Uh, the very first time you run Kodu, though, what will be at the top of the menu is Load World. And that's what you want to choose. So click on Load World. And that brings us to the Load World menu. These are all worlds that you can load up, games you can play. To navigate through here, you can click on the green arrows on either side to move back and forth, or you can just push the mouse cursor to the edge of the screen. That will allow you to move back and forth. Or if you like to use the keyboard, the left and right arrow keys will let you navigate through these worlds. Now, the world I want to work on today is called Shooting Fish, and here it is. So I click on it, and at the very top it says Play. I click on Play, and I'm in our world. And right now I am actually playing the game. There's not a lot of gameplay, but we're going to fix that in a minute. So what we have, some fish wandering back and forth, a little bit of world, and down here at the bottom it says Press Escape to Edit. So that's what we want to do. We want to go into the editor and add a character that maybe shoots at these fish, make it into kind of a carnival arcade shooting gallery type thing. So I press escape and here I am in the editor. Now you can tell you're in the editor because you've got the a row of tools across the bottom of the screen. Also notice that there's some balls with lines connecting them at the top. That's the path that the fish were following previously and that goes invisible when you're actually running the game but it, it's visible while you're editing so you can set it wherever you need. For our game, since we're going to be shooting fish, we need to have some character shoot. Of course the best character there is Kodu. To add a new character, choose the Add and Program Objects tool. This lets you add new objects to the game, change their programming, change their characteristics. So I click on that once I'm in that mode, I can just click anywhere. This is left click with the mouse, and a pie menu will come up. This pie menu lets me choose what objects I want to add. Now right here, we're seeing six different selections, but some of these selections have a black arrow on the edge rather than just being smooth. That indicates that this pie menu has a submenu. If I click on that, it brings up the submenu. Now, here we've obviously got a lot of characters, we can get into those later, but I wanted to go back and get Kodu, so I'm just going to click somewhere off of the Pi menu, and that closes it. Go up, select Kodu, and there he is. Now you notice when I put the cursor over him, I'm not clicking on him or anything, I'm just moving the cursor over the top of him. The yellow glow tells you that he's in focus, and he also identifies himself. If you'll notice, it says, well, if I right-click, I can program him. And we want to program him to shoot fish, so let's do that. Right-click, that brings up a menu of options. Right at the top is Program. We click Program, and we get into the Kodu programming UI. The programming for Kodu is a series of rules that you create that tell the character what to do. And the rules are always in the same format. There's a one side and a do side. So when this happens, I want you to do that. And in this case, we're going to be programming the Kodu to shoot when I hit the space bar on the keyboard. So I'll say, well, when keyboard and space bar, what I want him to do is then shoot, and we'll have him shoot a missile. So there we have it. That rule says when the space the space bar on the keyboard is hit, what I want you to do is shoot a missile. So I hit the escape key to exit the programming, and then I come down here and choose the large green triangle to run the game. So now, when I hit the space bar, it fires a missile, but he can only shoot straight, which is a little bit constrained. So let's go ahead and go back and give him the power to turn left and right. So once again, press escape to e edit. I hit escape, I'm back in the edit mode, I choose the Object Edit tool at the bottom, which lets me then right-click on Kodu, choose Programming, and then this time I'm going to say Keyboard 
uh, when the left arrow is pressed, well, I want Kodu to turn, and I want him to turn to the left. And then we're going to do the same thing for the right. Keyboard, right arrow, turn, and to the right. So that's our programming now. So when the space bar is hit, we shoot a missile. When the left arrow is hit, we turn left. When the right arrow, we turn right. Escape gets us back out of the programming UI, and then we click on the green triangle to run, and we can have Cody turn back and forth. Spacebar shoots. That's the basics of the game. Now, once you've gotten your game worked out where you want to save it, hit Escape again to go back into the edit mode, and this icon, the little house icon, that will take you to the home menu where you can choose Save My World. Up here you can type in a title for the game. Um, I've already chosen Shooting Fish. Um, here's a, You can type in a description. I can increment the version number since I've changed it now. And then click Save at the bottom. And it's saved away. And next time I run Kodu it will show up in my Load Worlds menu.